Hey guys, Crixley here for the Red Carpet Report and we are here at the 38th Annual Saturn Awards. Let's get to it, shall we? And now... I know, I'm done. I, I just have force of habit. All right, Steve, I have to tell you that you share the first distinction of being my very first Game of Thrones interview ever. So, uh, so I was looking you up, and I was looking around because I love Game of Thrones, and of course, you're in Game of Thrones. Did you ever see the website that ranked the top 21 hottest guys of Game of Thrones, and you actually came in fifth? Someone mentioned it to me. Yeah, I know it's it's great. It's a great achievement, I guess. Um, yeah, no, I mean, sure, some of the guys on there, uh, you know, I think there's someone for everyone, really. Um, so, yeah, fifth place. I guess it's not too bad. Now, a lot of the now a lot of the episodes that feature like yourself and the Khaleesi, and you know, and you guys are going through the desert and. You know, how is it to be in you know in those costumes? And it, it looks hot as hell out there. Like, how do you guys survive? Um, the, the desert that you're talking about, the Red Waste, we were actually filmed in an old quarry. This year's quarry in Croatia. Uh, that particular day, um, there was no breeze whatsoever. It was so hot. And obviously, I'm wearing the leather armor, and I'm tied in 5 a.m. in the morning. And that doesn't come off until we finish shooting at night. So it, it, that was a challenge. Um, but it really helped, because I think that scene... Um, generally, we'd been stranded out in the desert for a while, so you know, it really helped along with getting into character and getting the feeling for the scene as well. Now, everybody had to learn that language is now being comparative to Klingon. How long did it take you to figure out the language? Um, it was pretty easy. We've, we've got some um, script editors who worked alongside us, uh, Brian Cogman and David J. Peterson, um, really helped us through with that. So the kind of broke it down to an easy way of, of putting it across so that was a massive help I don't think I could have learned like the full phonetics and, and words of it that would have been like you know a real challenge but we, we got by with what we needed to do <laughs> what'd you say hard questions yeah. very tricky. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie just said I'm tricky uh, now when it comes to Game of Thrones what gets you up in the morning to go to the location like what is the first thing you think as soon as your eyes open um, I mean, it's just such a great show to be a part of. Um, you know, it's it's where I've always dreamed of as an actor. You know, to have a role like that in such a great show. So just that alone, I mean, it, it just motivates you and spurs you on. So, you know, I just want to do it justice and you know, give the fans something to to be happy to watch. I guess. Okay, now I'm going to ask a silly question. Like most Asians, we are obsessed with hair. So how many times a day or a week do people go, can I touch your hair? It's, well, it's probably daily. Um, <laughs> I, I lose count. I lose count. But, I mean, you know, I, I love it. You know, it, it's, it's really good. So you get those strange fans. You're just like, thanks, but no. Yeah. It's, you can look, but don't touch, basically. That's, that's normally the rule to go by. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You have a very good night. You too.